10 Everyday Habits That Damage Your Liver One in three people has fatty liver disease, where the liver becomes clogged with fat, leading to health issues like fat gain around the belly, high blood pressure, a higher diabetes risk, amongst many other problems. Poor lifestyle choices, eating unhealthy foods, and exposure to harmful substances can cause liver disease. In this video, we'll be discussing several bad habits that harm your liver and offer some easy solutions on how to fix them. This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you have any medical concerns. 1. Overusing painkillers Many people have fallen into the habit of using painkillers every day, and these are things like Tylenol, Aspirin, or Ibuprofen. Unfortunately, these painkillers can cause inflammation in your liver when you use them too often, because they interfere with certain liver enzymes and they can break down into inflammatory chemicals. Speak to your doctor about reducing your pain medication and seek some natural alternatives such as turmeric capsules or some devil's claw supplements. 2. Regular alcohol consumption when you consume alcohol, your liver breaks it down into a toxic substance called acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde is very damaging to your liver cells and it causes inflammation and fat to build up inside the organ. If you continue to drink after your liver becomes fatty, you could also develop scar tissue, which is fibrosis, and eventually cirrhosis of the liver, which can be life-threatening. Drinking on a regular basis and binge drinking are the most common problems here, so limit your alcohol consumption to special occasions, or preferably just avoid it completely. Habit number three is eating too many deep fried foods. When you go to the restaurant or you have takeout, your food will often be fried in inflammatory seed oils such as cottonseed, canola, soy or corn oil, which are all loaded with oxidised omega-6 fats. This can cause inflammation in your liver and can cause non-alcoholic fatty liver disease when you eat them too often. To help balance out your omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, I'd recommend that you start eating more shellfish, sardines, wild salmon and walnuts. Omega-3s from these foods are anti-inflammatory and will help to reverse damage caused by the seed oils to your liver. I recommend that you start cooking your own healthier meals at home as much as possible. Avoid deep frying and shallow fry your foods instead using things like extra virgin olive oil, virgin coconut oil or organic avocado oil. Habit number four is not drinking enough water. For your liver to stay healthy, it needs you to drink water regularly throughout the day. Water is used by your liver to produce bile, a substance that helps you to digest fat and remove harmful toxins from your body. So aim to drink at least one and a half litres of water every day to keep your blood and your liver clean. Also, avoid drinking too much caffeine or alcohol, as these can severely dehydrate the liver and slow it down. Habit number five is eating too many canned meats. If you check the labels on canned meat products like Spam, corned beef or canned ham, you'll notice that there are additives like soy flour, modified cornstarch or maltodextrin. These are highly processed starches which are harmful to the liver, especially when they're combined with protein, as they form something called AGEs, which cause your blood to become sticky. The solution is simply to eat whole cuts of meat that you cook yourself at home, avoiding the canned varieties. If you're finding this video useful, please like it, subscribe and turn all notifications on so that I can keep you updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. Before we continue, I'd like to make you aware that the liver is one of the only organs in the body that can completely heal itself and regenerate. So if you've had some of these bad habits for a long time, don't worry. Changing these habits will allow your liver to heal and repair itself naturally. Habit number six is consuming soy protein powder. One of the most damaging substances to the liver is a cheap protein powder called soy protein isolates. 
This is an additive that's often put in things like diet shakes, protein bars, ready meals, the so-called vegetarian meat patties, and even some baby milk formulas. This is a highly processed protein which causes fatty liver disease because it alters fat metabolism. I recommend avoiding these convenience foods and start eating more whole foods like eggs, fish, meat, vegetables, nuts and berries and your liver will definitely thank you. 7. Not eating vegetables Vegetables like broccoli, brussels sprouts, cabbage, radish, arugula, onions, leeks etc. all contain phytonutrients which help your liver to detoxify harmful substances from your body and your blood. When you don't eat enough vegetables, your liver has a harder job of filtering your blood and this puts a strain on the liver cells. The simple solution is to start eating more vegetables and these will boost glutathione, the master antioxidant of the body made by the liver. 8. Lack of sleep We all struggle to sleep every now and then, but if you're consistently getting less than 7 hours of quality sleep each night, or perhaps you're waking up several times during the night for many, many months, this can raise a stress hormone that we call cortisol. Too much cortisol causes your liver to produce more sugar from the proteins and the fats in your body, and this causes more fat to be deposited in your liver over time, which isn't good. The solution is to improve your sleep by going to bed earlier, turning off all of the devices that emit blue light in the evening, using some breathing exercises, perhaps meditating, and stop drinking caffeine after 2pm, as this stimulant can keep you awake. 9. Sugary Foods Sweet sugary foods like biscuits, pastries, ketchup, soda, candy, and all of those lovely things are often sweetened with an ingredient called high fructose corn syrup. This syrup is a highly processed form of sugar which has the same damaging effect on your liver as does alcohol. This can cause insulin resistance and then fat starts to build up inside the liver. High fructose corn syrup also causes visceral fat to form around your organs which can raise the risk of heart disease, diabetes and a range of other health problems. If you've damaged your liver by eating junk foods, I'd recommend using some freeze-dried milk thistle three times per day to boost glutathione levels and help the liver to heal itself. 10. Artificial Sweeteners Artificial sweeteners like aspartame, sucralose and saccharin are often added to the so-called sugar-free foods and drinks. Studies show that these sweeteners can upset the balance of friendly microbes in your gut and this can cause certain toxins to build up that also harm the liver. Instead of drinking sodas which have these artificial sweeteners, I'd recommend making a simple healthy drink at home. Mash up some berries into a glass bottle, add some carbonated water, and some stevia drops for sweetness to make a delicious fruity drink. Reversing Liver Damage as previously mentioned, the liver is one of the only organs that is capable of completely healing itself and returning to its full function. So if you've had some of these bad habits for years, fear not, use the following methods to help repair your liver cells. Increase your master antioxidant glutathione levels in your body by eating more sulfur rich foods like garlic, onions, radishes, scallions, cabbage, mushrooms, pasture raised eggs, artichokes, leafy greens, wild salmon and broccoli sprouts. Milk Thistle Take 2400 milligrams of freeze dried milk thistle three times spread out throughout the day. Milk thistle is a powerful liver cleansing herb rich in silymarin, a group of compounds that help to regenerate liver tissue. Autophagy Give your liver a rest by eating all of your food in an 8 hour window and drinking only water for the remaining hours of the day. This stimulates autophagy, a cellular cleanup process that helps to repair cells in your liver and throughout your body. Avoid toxins Cut out things that cause damage to your liver and allow it to heal, including fructose, alcohol, drugs, vapes, painkillers, refined carbs and fish that are high in mercury. You can find natural alternatives for all of your needs in my other videos. Increase bile 
help your liver to make and mobilize bile to help dissolve fatty deposits that are making your liver fatty. Take a daily supplement which contains at least 100 mg of ox bile three times per day after eating. Bile helps to keep the gallbladder and liver free of congestion. You should be drinking at least one litre of water per day as bile is made of 95% water. You can also boost bile by getting more choline from eggs, wild fish and beef. Boost Omega-3s Lower inflammation in the liver by cutting out inflammatory seed oils like canola, cottonseed, soy, corn and rapeseed oil. Boost your omega-3 levels by eating wild fish, shellfish, grass-fed beef or a virgin cod liver oil supplement every day. Antioxidants When you have a fatty liver, your body is more likely carrying toxins which are causing free radical damage to your cells. The best thing to do is to load up on antioxidants to reverse this damage. You can do this by eating blueberries, getting regular exercise, eating organ meats, brazil nuts, oily fish, sauerkraut, turmeric, parsley and vitamin D3 to name a few. There are also certain supplements that have been designed specifically to help repair a damaged or a fatty liver. To learn more about these, tap on this video that I've put on your screen now. Thank you so much for watching another of my videos, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.